Hello, my name is Anna Su, and my 2024 YSP project is AI for Science Communication. During this project, I created an AI tool through OpenAI using ChatGPT4 that generates educational articles based on scientific articles. So as you can see, you input a scientific article and it generates educational content. My first step was prompt engineering, which is the process of creating the most optimal prompts to maximize the generated articles, engagement, tone, structure, and including the appropriate amount of factual scientific information. So I created around 10 prompts and then decided on the one that I thought was the best. And then from there, I did some exploratory analysis. And what I used to compare my AI-generated articles against was SciWorthy articles. SciWorthy is a um, scientific educational website. And um, so I looked at the SciWorthy article. I uh, saw the scientific article that the SciWorthy article was written on. And I then put that scientific article into my AI generator. So I created three different um, AI generated articles and A, B, and C are three different um, articles that I ran my tests on. So the first one is a readability index comparison. I did this with pandas and text app packages um, in Jupyter Notebooks with Python and the Kincaid score counts average sentence length and syllables per word, assigning a US grade level. As you can see, the results seem pretty variable um, with no real pattern. And the age range is also very high with um, the lowest being 10th grade. I then ran a cosine similarity index um, with Sklern and I saw similar results for all three articles. So for cosine similarity index, zero is zero similarity and one is perfect similarity. Um, as you can see, there's no articles with similarities under 0 0.5. So they're more similar than they aren't. And this is a heat map where it shows you how similar the articles are to each other. And it also shows you how similar the AI generated articles are to each other, which is important because um, I would want my tool to be ideally very consistent. I then um, ran some sentiment analyses. I used the text blob and Vader packages, which are Python libraries used for natural language processing. Um, sentiment scores for Vader were mostly similar among the original um, SciWorthy article and articles one, two, and three. And um, it seems like they're, uh, the AI articles were slightly more positive than the SciWorthy article, but this might not be statistically significant. And um, overall, the articles were mostly neutral. Um, I ran this with text blob, which looks at polarity and subjectivity. Um, polarity is having a positive or negative tone. And subjectivity is personal opinion or bias. So um, the AI generated articles do seem more subjective and more polar than the original article, the uh, SciWorthy article. But also, I don't know if this is statistically significant. Um, so now, with this knowledge, I wanted to explore more with the larger data set. So I scraped 25 articles from SciWorthy and extracted data using beautiful soup package in Python. I then integrated the OpenAI API to create generated articles. And right now I'm in the process of doing more analyses, but I also continued qualitative observations to see if the prompt was more applicable to a broader range of articles. And I tuned the prompts more. So now that I have these, my next steps is to create scripts that more accurately determine the quality of the article, um, use educational articles from other sources besides SciWorthy, because I would like to build a tool that caters to various age ranges. And I'd also possibly like to write recursive code to improve these prompts. Thank you.